uh, I were asked to be if I wanted to do a project together with uh, Ronnie Atkins from Pretty Mates, and uh, and I got a lot of questions about doing projects with different singers and stuff. But Ronnie Atkins is one of my absolute favorites, and I love Pretty Mates. It's, it's, it's a fantastic band, and Pretty Mates made a huge impact on the way that my main band Eclipse actually sound today. So it, I were honored to to be a part of this project and write songs for Ronnie. He's a fantastic singer. What actually happened was, he sent me an mp3 file and he basically just sent me 11 songs and, and he didn't send me a bad song. So it was just like, okay, well this is good, you know, I like this, uh, you know, book some time in the studio and the studio is like an hour away from where I live, you know, and, and uh, I just went and recorded it. I mean, he wrote the core of a song and, and what what you hear on the record is, is these ideas. I just tried to put my own little twist into it, the way I do things, the way I record, the way I sing, stuff like that, you know. But apart from that, it's very easy. My approach when uh, writing this project is I did not want it to sound like Pretty Mates. I did not want it to sound like Eclipse, but still I wanted it to be melodic and you know when I write music it's it's um, It's hard to not write in your own style, but I I really tried hard to find inspiration from uh, From very different places and I really really focused on that the melodies should be in focus on this album Well, I have, uh, I gotta say, I have, a, I have a lot of favorite tracks on this album, uh, because it's, um, I mean, the first two songs I had was uh, Hypocrisy and When Death Is Calling. That was actually the first two songs that, that, that told me that, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm in for this project, I'm, I'm gonna do this, this thing, you know. And later on, I mean, there was a lot of good songs coming on. Um, well, let's say my favorite tracks are, Hypocrisy is definitely what death is calling it too. Uh, it's difficult. Uh, Wide Awake, I love, I like that a lot. I brought in my good friend, uh, Frederik Folkare. He's from the, um, the death metal band Unleashed, and he's a fantastic guitar player. He plays furious guitar solos and He's been touring the whole world with uh, his own band Unleashed and uh, Necrophobic. He did two guitar solos and then we're on drums. The, the former drummer of Eclipse, now the, the bass player of Eclipse, is now playing drums on the Nordic Union album and he's been doing a fantastic job in, in doing the drums. He's just an unbelievable drummer. And, and another guitar player is Peter Halgren. Uh, he's playing guitar solo on a, on a song and he's just a great guitar player from Stockholm over here. He's been playing with Rob Rock and a lot of different artists as well. And uh, one of my favorite inspiration, and I know it's an inspiration both for Magnus from Eclipse, the guitar player from Eclipse, and Frederick from Unleashed, is Thomas Larsson. He's, he's a Swedish, uh, almost the best kept secret of Sweden. He's a fantastic guitar player. He's been insp giving inspiration for us for 20 years uh, as a guitar player and he used to play with Glenn Hughes in the early 90s. Thomas Larsson, fantastic guitar player. And also we got, uh, of course, Magnus Hendrickson from the clips. I don't know what the future aspects are. Um, we've done this album. And that's that's it for now. I mean, we've, and I think we've done a great album. I committed myself to do this one album. And me and Eric did it together, and and that's it for now. I mean, let, let's see how the response is and uh, see what happens. You know, people like it. Yeah, I don't know. Never say that. No.